as a business, first of all, you have to have policies and practices in place that recognize that you're taking accessibility serious and that you're participating in breaking down barriers for people. It means that you have to make your staff aware and that your staff have to be trained in how to serve people with disabilities and to have an awareness of what the disab of various disabilities. There's so many different aspects in running a retail store. And I think the first and most important aspect is customer service. And so it starts with myself, being the owner of the store, that when I'm on the retail floor, um, that I you know, ask customers how they're doing and if they're finding everything they need. And it's important that our managers do the same thing and our floor staff do the same thing. So it carries right through the whole organization. Our designers wanted to hear firsthand from the customer they wanted to understand, you know, what does it really take to make an exhibit um, more accessible for someone who's blind or someone who's deaf or somebody, a person who has autism, for example. Right, right. So we put together a committee of 10 people and all of these different disabilities are represented. I think a lot of people with disabilities um, want to feel independent and uh, want to shop in a store that treats them um, like everyone else. I mean, we try not to treat the person differently. We certainly have to treat you know, your situation differently and, and, and make sure that we can accommodate you. The accessibility in a store will uh, influence a lot my family directly. It's the utmost importance to have complete accessibility and it goes along with independence. But a good service to the clientele, that's the art, that's precious. And it's going to have such a great impact on me que je vais retourner à ce magasin là mais sans aucun problème, j'y serai fidèle. I believe that somebody that's providing customer service needs to ask the right questions. They need to ask questions. They can't make assumptions and they have to be an active listener. And if each person reaches out and does one little thing, you're we're saying customer service here. I don't like customer service. I like to say people helping people. Astra, how can I help you as a retail owner? Good service, friendly, friendly, friendly conversation keeps, uh, keeps me coming back to the same, same uh, store.